Welcome to I don't know where this vlog is going, but let's go to the grocery, get some ingredients, and make something delicious in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I am in heaven! <laughs> let's make this a quick grocery run because Miguel and I are so hungry. We are in the fruit and veggie section. For our chicken peso sandwich, we're gonna need some greens. I always get my favorite, baby arugulas. A must-have in our refrigerator. And of course, we need some spring mix. I like making salads out of whatever happens to be laying around in the ref. That's for another vlog. I'll share with you guys my top three summer salads. Another must-have and fave, cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna go get some avocados. I prefer Haas avocados because it's richer and creamier. There's no hairy, weird texture. The best indicator of avocado ripeness is firmness. So give it a gentle squeeze. If it feels soft but not too squishy, then it's ripe and ready to eat. Let's prep our boneless chicken thighs first, pound the thighs to an even thickness, and then season with salt and pepper. I like to use chicken thighs because it has more flavor than white meat. Before you start cooking, preheat your cast iron skillet over medium-high heat. Shout out to Maine and Oxford for sending me this lovely Le Creuset cast iron skillet. If you want to shop online for home goods, then do check out Maine and Oxford. I will link their IG shop and their website in the description box. This is just store-bought pesto sauce. You can make your own if you like. All you have to do is to crush basil, garlic, pine nuts, olive oil, and parmesan all together and you've got your pesto sauce. So let's go back to the sandwich. I've added the pesto chicken, some avocados, some cherry tomatoes, a bit of Dijon mustard, a bit of salt. You can also add crushed pepper and then of course your arugula. And there you have it. You've got your pesto chicken sandwich. Mmm. Easy. Healthy, delicious sandwich. So we're gonna make the guiltless sausage stuff. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I love you too. So I'm gonna make the guiltless sausage stuffed mushrooms and the bangin' good <laughs> shrimp. So let's start off first with the uh, guiltless sausage stuffed mushrooms. Slice your sausages into chunks, cook in medium high heat, and let the natural fat from the sausage render out. Finely chop the mushroom stems, some onions, red bell peppers. These are so good, especially when roasted. I like having it with burrata and then you drizzle sweet balsamic vinegar 
olive oil and then you add salt and pepper and then have it with sourdough bread oh my god it's the best okay so we're just adding in our onions to the fat rendered from the sausage wait for it to caramelize and then add in your mushroom stems Add in your red bell peppers. Let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Start. There we go. Add in your sausage. You want it a little spicy, so I'm adding a little bit of cayenne pepper. And this is our filling for the mushroom. Sprinkle in some panko breadcrumbs. And then you bake for about um, 20 minutes until golden brown. I'm gonna make a banging good shrimp salad. Very easy. So let me just take off the, the shell of the shrimp. Now evenly coat the shrimp with your baking powder, flour, and salt mixture. Now we're gonna make our sauce. All you need is some mayo. Should be good. And then some sriracha. And sweet chili sauce. Mix. Perfection. It's the perfect side dish. You can have it with, you know, fish, pork, lamb, chicken, or beef. This salad pairs well with anything. So please do try this recipe and tag me on Instagram. If you're vegan or vegetarian and really don't eat meat, then just take out the sausage and just make it an all veggie stuffing and I'm sure it'll still taste as good. Banging shrimp. Two for two. Nice. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tiny just snuck behind you, too. Thank you. I'm glad we have extra stuffing also. We could eat like 30 of these, baby. Mm -hmm. Good. That's really nice. There's some extra. Bang and shrimp. So good. Have some shrimp, too. That's awesome, baby. Mm -hmm. mm. Nicely done. Both are really good.